Good morning, my friends, and welcome back for another full day, ooh, man, full day of eating on WW Freestyle. It is a lazy Saturday morning here. Um, I have not worked out yet. I have been laying my lazy butt in bed, but working while I was doing it. I um, was putting up a couple new recipes on my website. I'm trying to get soup recipes up because that season is coming and I'm trying to get a little bit ahead. So I figure if I can like add one or two a day, it'll save me some time in the long run. So that's what I was doing. And I also put up, um, you know, I have my banana bread recipe up there. I've been making it into muffins lately. And I know that there are some people who are not great cooks or who really need a detailed recipe. So I took the same recipe, but put it up again as banana muffins just to make it easier on everyone. Um, and I did get one soup recipe up there, one of my favorite soup recipes of all time, Maryland crab soup. It is so delicious. It tastes like something right from a restaurant and it's only one freestyle smart point per serving. So it's a great deal. Um, anyway, I am going to make us some breakfast. I am going to make a breakfast pizza. I believe I did a cook with me on this somewhere. I'm not sure. If I did and I can find it, I'll link it up in the I card above. Um, but I'm not going to film it today because I'm just not. Um, that's about it. I will show it to you when it's done. Instead of making one big pizza, because I usually make one big pizza for like a meal prep. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to make it two individual pizzas for Doug and I. Since it's only us here and I know we're not going to be eating it the next day or two. So anyway, I will be back to show you the pizza. I will also be back to show you my craft area. It is done. I am, oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. I actually cried when it got done and just thanked hubby so much because, um, you know, he really worked hard on it for me. And I told him that I want him to make that my birthday present because we did buy um, some things for it. We bought a bookcase. We bought... Um, just some other little stuff at Ikea. So I told him, I said, you know what? Please make that my birthday present. Like th there's no other birthday present than something like that because he really worked hard on it. So I will show you that today. And I also had a subscriber ask to see my bedroom because I have filmed from there a couple times. And she said that um, my bedroom was definitely her style and she would love to see it. So, I am going to film my bedroom today. So kind of a crazy all over the place video. Well, what I eat in a day and here's my craft space and here's my bedroom. And I've rattled on long enough. So I'm going to go make breakfast because we are hungry. I will talk to you very soon. Okay, breakfast is ready. I made two personal breakfast pizzas. Look at the size of those guys. I mean, there's, there's some comparison for you. And each one is only five smart points. It's three points worth of dough, the two ingredient dough, one points worth of the Trader Joe's mozzarella. Yeah, I'm still hoarding a little bit of it. I can't believe that it won't be back until next year. Can't wait to see what they changed it or, you know, whatever, whatever the issue was. Um, so three points worth of dough, one points worth of Trader Joe's mozzarella, and zero points for the eggs, zero points for one piece of Canadian bacon, and one points worth of the Cabot 75 cheddar. So there you go, five freestyle smart points for this big old breakfast pizza. Yes, it is one o'clock in the afternoon and I still look like this. I have been working on getting some organization done and getting some cleaning done doing all the windows in the house, outside and in. Um, so why bother getting showered and looking decent when I'm just gonna be working around the house? Except for you guys, of course. I like to shower and look decent for you guys, but I think you'll understand because I'm sure everybody has a day like this. We are working our butts off today, so on Sunday and Monday, we can do nothing but sit our behinds at the swim club. So anyway, um, a couple days ago, a subscriber, Renee, asked, she mentioned that I had done a couple videos from my bedroom. And she said, 
your bedroom looks like my kind of style and it looks pretty and I would love to see it if you would be willing to show us. So of course I will be willing to show you. About two years ago, we redid our bedroom. Um, our furniture was like an oak color. It's actually kind of cheap furniture from Sears. Like it's not real wood or anything, but it was like an oak, like a honey oak color. Um, it was dated. So I painted it because honestly, I'm not buying new furniture right now at this point in my life. Um, so we painted the furniture, we painted the walls, new curtains. We put up a shiplap wall. We were channeling our inner, uh, you know, Joanna Gaines, Chip and Joanna Gaines and put up a shiplap wall and everything. So she has to see my bedroom. So I will take you on a tour. My bedroom is very small as is my master bathroom. We did that at the same time. Um, so I will show you that, but it's very small. So it, nothing fantastic, but I do love it. I think it's cozy. I think it's, it's homey. So let me take, show you what it looks like. And then this is my dresser. And that is our TV. Hubby built a frame around the TV so it was a little less, you know, in your face looking. Honestly, we don't even need it in here. The only time I ever use it is when I iron because I do like to watch TV when I iron. And my dresser. We have Alexa hidden behind my little sign. <laughs> my little jewelry tree that was a gift from Dish with D. And then over here, my curtains were from Kohl's. The little cross was a gift from my son's girlfriend. We have a picture frame that's a tree. And I have family pictures in there. And this was my mother's hope chest, her cedar chest. I will never ever paint that because it was my mom's. And then, yes, we have steps for our doggies. Aria hurt her leg one time and couldn't jump up on the bed, so we bought the steps. Now they both use it, they're hysterical. So this is hubby's side of the bed. And there's our bed. I got the bed at Big Lots and it was brown. So I spray painted it black because I wanted it black. And there is our shiplap wall. My side of the bed. And this is hubby's dresser. And that was the, the first thing I made with my Cricut was the sign. And the closet door. And that's it. And this is our little tiny bathroom. It's going to be hard to film in there because it's so little. Our shelves are made out of just a piece of wood and some iron, iron, some kind of metal pipes, our shower, we have a window, and let me see here. And this used to be a honey oak color too, but I painted it gray. So that's it, our little tiny bathroom. I love it though, I think it's nice and cozy and goes well with our bedroom. So that's it, that is my bedroom and I love it. Um, next thing I want to do though is replace the carpet. I hate the carpet because the carpet is brown and yucky. I don't like it and I'm not sure if I want to put carpet in here or if I want to do flooring. We'll see when the time comes. So there you have it. Okay since we're on the tour circuit I figure now is a good time to show you my craft area. If you remember the other day in my video I said that we were making a craft area down in my unfinished basement for me and we finished it yesterday and guys I cried I was so happy I just I love the way it turned out I do I love it um, and I told hubby that this could be my birthday present from him um, because he worked so hard on it and he bought you know the stuff for it and you know I, I'm I'm going to be 51 years old there's nothing I need. There's nothing I want. This is what I want it. So I said, please make this my birthday present. So he agreed. We'll see if he really holds by that. I hope he does. So I will turn you around and I will show you my awesome new craft area. So here is a bookcase that we got at Ikea and I have all of my things on it. Um, my unfinished, you know, my plates, my tiles, my wine glasses, my mugs, 
some wooden things, canvases. Um, he also made this for me, this contraption. You put your mug or your glass or whatever on it to put the vinyl on easier. So you don't have to like hold it in your hand or anything. I saw it on Pinterest and he made it. And this shelf has a bunch of stuff in it that I finished or am finishing. Then here is my desk area. We got the countertop from my brother, he was laying in his garage. Asked if we wanted it and I'm like, heck yeah. Um, the only thing we have left to do is paint the legs of the desk. I wanna paint them either white or gray. I haven't decided yet. Um, we got this chair on clearance at Ikea. It is awesome. It is so comfy. My lamp from, where did I get that? Uh, from Aldi, I showed you that yesterday, my laptop. And I bought that placemat at the Dollar Tree to use to paint on the wooden stuff so I don't get it on my desk. And then we have pegboard with my things hanging. Lots of room to put more stuff up. And then over here, this is the piece of furniture that I trash picked. We took the legs off to make it a little more stable. And I've got uh, my vinyl scraps and my transfer paper in the two drawers. Nothing yet on the bottom, just an empty bin and a piece of paper. And on top, I have my Cricut and a paper cutter. And then here are all my vinyl rolls and pieces of vinyl. The things they're in are bag holders from Ikea. Saw that hack on Pinterest too. So I am beyond thrilled with my little corner of the basement. I think it looks great considering, like I said, it's in an unfinished basement. Oh, I also saw a rug at Aldi I wanna go back and get. Um, I just didn't have room in the van for it yesterday with all of the other stuff. So I'm gonna go back and get the, the area rug. It's like four by six, just for some warmth in the winter. So there is my little space that we created and I absolutely love it and I'm so happy. And I can't wait to get done my house cleaning so I can come down here and work on several projects that I have going on. So, see, that's what I'm working on right now. Don't tell. It's a mug for my bestie. Anyway, just thought I'd show you and tell you how absolutely thrilled I am and how happy I am over it. Okay, I did not show you my lunch because I did not have any. No, that's not quite the truth. I had a bowl of watermelon for lunch. I was still so full from that breakfast between the Greek yogurt and the crust the cheese, the fat and the cheese, and the eggs, the protein in the eggs, I was full for a long time. Plus, I was very busy this afternoon, um, so that helps me not think about eating. Um, and I just kind of, I threw some watermelon in me because I knew it was going to be a while before we ate dinner. Uh, we are on our way to Mass right now, going to 5 o'clock Mass. And then after mass, we are going up to Sprouts. And that's about, what, 40 minutes? 30 minutes, 40 minutes away. Um, I wanna, they're having a really good sale this week. Somebody had posted it on my Facebook group and I looked it up. I never really look at their ads because it's so far away. But they have a lot of buy one, get ones, like Birch Benders is buy one, get one free. So it comes down to four bucks a bag and it's like six or $7 a bag in my grocery store. Um, they also, oh crap, they have enlightened ice cream and I wanted to get that, but A, I forgot a cooler and B, we were going to go out to dinner after we went to Sprouts. Maybe we'll go to dinner before we go to Sprouts because they're open till 10 p.m. So there we go. Problem solved. So anyway, I didn't show you my watermelon because honestly, I just forgot. I got busy working around the house and getting some stuff done and all that so that was that so now like I said we are going to mass um, I feel like I need a little Jesus in my life today <laughs> um, just you know sometimes you just need a little Jesus in your life every day. well every day yes but some days in particular and I always say that church is not a hotel for saints it's a hospital for sinners. I feel like I need to be there today. So, <laughs> he's laughing at me. Is there something um, you need to tell me? 
no, there's nothing I need to tell you. Just, you know, life drama. Um, so, that's that. And then, like I said, we're going to go to Sprouts. We're going to go to dinner. We're going to go to Sprouts. Not sure where we're going to dinner. I have 18 points left for today. Um, plus a bunch of weeklies if I choose to use them. Um, and that's about it. So, we'll see. I'm kind of in the mood for seafood. I think Hubby's in the mood for Mexican. There's a really good Mexican place up there. So, I could do that. So, we'll see. Okay, I have to chat it long enough. We are on our way and I will be back with my dinner. We are out to dinner at a local place called Charlie Brown's. It's a really cool little restaurant. Um, they are known for their prime ribbon steaks. It's really cool looking around. They also have a really great salad bar and that's what I am starting out with. There is my salad, it's huge. And some roasted vegetables with about two teaspoons of honey lime dressing and a little piece of bread. I'll be back to show you my dinner. Here is my dinner. It is crab stuffed flounder and green beans. And there is a Parmesan sauce on the side. I'm not really sure how I'm going to count this yet. I'll have to wait until I eat it and deconstruct it to see. There is Doug's dinner. He got a half rack of ribs. That's a half rack. A baked potato with sour cream and butter. And apparently it came with baked beans, which he doesn't like, so I'm sure he won't be eating. Do we have the most exciting date nights for what? Church, dinner, and then grocery shopping. I don't know if we can handle the, so much excitement in our life. Okay, we are home and I'm gonna show you my little Sprouts haul. Well, little, but expensive. So, Birch Benders was buy one, get one free. They were $6 a bag. Buy one, get one free, makes them $3 a bag. That is an amazing price for our area. So I bought four of them. Then I found Lily's chips in the milk chocolate. I am so excited. I don't like dark chocolate, but I eat the Lily's because they're low in points and I've actually gotten used to them, but they had the milk chocolate and they had the semi-sweet. So I got a bag of each of those. The milk chocolate is 30 chips for two points, which makes me happy. I will take 15 for one point. And I forgot to scan the semi-sweet. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen. I got a bag of shrimp for dinner tomorrow night to have with our filet mignon. Uh, we got some apples. They are gala apples. They were on sale. I got two mangoes. I got some little potatoes. They are for a side dish this week. The RX bars were buy one, get one free. So they came down to $1.25 each, which is a good price. Um, they are for hubby. He loves these. They're a little pointy for me. They're about seven points, eight points each. Um, I mean, they're fine as a meal replacement, but I don't generally do that. But he likes to keep these in his desk at work. Enlightened ice cream was buy one, get one free. So they had some flavors I haven't seen before because our local store is really bad with uh, flavors. So I picked up four of those to keep in the freezer. Strawberry cheesecake, cookies and cream, snickerdoodle, and hubby picked chocolate peanut butter for himself. Then their bulk um, natural peanut butter was buy one, get one free. And hubby loves this, so it's for him. He bought the crunchy and salted peanut butter, and he bought the dark chocolate peanut butter. And then he also, boy, I know why I spent all the money now, because Hubby bought everything. He bought some bulk coffee. Um, it was a special, I forget, some kind of medium roast. I don't even remember what it was. What was it? Columbia, some kind of Colombian blend. So, that is my little Sprouts haul. You want to take a guess at how much I spent? Yeah, it was $80. Yeah. So my... Grocery budget is a little bit blown this week, but 
that's okay. The birch bundles are, benders will last a while having that many bags and the lilies last forever. So, and the enlightened will last quite a while. I mean, at least a month and a half. So it's all good. And that's that. So that is it for me tonight. I am done. I am out of here. I am going to try to get this video uploaded. I'm sure because it's late that it's going to give me trouble. But hopefully I will have it up within an hour and I will be able to go to bed because I am very tired. Thank you for spending your day with me or my day with me or however we say that. I will be back on Monday, maybe with a full day of eating. I'm not sure what's going to happen Monday because our intention is to spend tomorrow and Monday at the swim club. So maybe I'll try to get in a full day of eating on one of those days and then not on Tuesday because... Um, it is my first day back to work full time. <laughs> so I'm going to be exhausted. Plus, I don't film on Tuesdays anyway because I eat really light and it's my meeting. Wednesday, I'll be back with a full day of eating and the meeting highlights. So I will see you. I'm not sure when, but definitely within the next couple days. Have a fantastic night and I'll talk to you very soon. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Leave me a comment. Oh, and by the way... Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hit 4,000 subscribers today. I am completely blown away and overwhelmed by that. And I can't even tell you how much your kind comments and your kind emails keep me going. I, it, they really, they touch my heart. I read every single comment and I try to, um, you know, heart every single one if I can't reply to every single one. But really, it means so much to me when you email me or leave me a comment. And really, it just warms my heart. So thank you so much. I am having a great time doing this. And I hope you're enjoying my content. Have a great night, everyone. See you soon.